What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do something cool today. Uh, this is a little different, but hear me out. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to get hay and straw into your main silo. Now it's not using the storage of your main silo, it's using the storage from your hay barn or your hay loft, whatever it is. So if you have 250,000 liters in your hay loft, or let's say you have 500,000 liters in your hay loft. If you have two, for example. And let's say in your main silo you have 200,000 liters. Those primary crops, those are going to be in your primary silo. Your hay and your straw will be in your hay loft. That storage amount does not change. However, what we're going to do today is we are going to get all of that consolidated into our main silo. Now, it does kind of offset the purpose of doing this because your hayloft literally has to be right beside your primary silo. I found this while I was doing a Let's Play on Felsbrunn and I decided to try this. This does work on PlayStation 4 and it works on PC. I have not tested this on the Xbox yet. So if you guys on Xbox, play along. We're gonna go through step by step and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. First things first, we need to have hay or straw so that we can get a monetary amount so we know this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of some of this equipment so I can get a little extra money and so that we can get this field done. We'll get a 45 foot header, boom, we're gonna collect it. Then we're gonna place everything down. So hang tight with me, let's do this. Let's get it started. All right, so we've got a full load of straw here. What I'm gonna do so I'm gonna buy a hayloft. Now, this, there are some ways you could place it, some ways that I don't recommend placing it. What you wanna do is you wanna place it as close as you can from how your silo extension. So my advice would be get the silo extension out and just see kinda how far away you can get it before it starts going red. Now these are gonna go red pretty easily uh, especially on console. Again, we're on PlayStation 4 today. So I'm just gonna place mine about right here, right in front of it. So I'm gonna grab the hayloft and I have kind of piddled with this a little bit. So here's how I'm gonna place mine, right in front of it, just like this, just like so, place. Now we have that placed, good to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of straw in there just so I can make sure that it works and show you guys because it is real creepy. All right, uh, I want to give a huge shout out to HowardBot5000 for helping me out and doing testing. We tested on <laughs> three different maps and on two different platforms. Uh, again, I haven't tested on Xbox yet. I assume it works, but we shall see nonetheless. So we are done here and we can move this because we don't need this anymore. We're gonna grab that T7 over there. I think I got a little bit of wheat in here. I do, might as well put that in the silo while we're at it. So here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. You can load into multiplayer or single player, whichever one you would like. However, if you have a new game save, I recommend loading into single player first. You don't have to, but I recommend it. It's just, uh, it's just what I think you should do. We've had the best luck from doing that and driving up the wall. So let's take a look at this. I wanna make sure you know we're not doing anything crazy. Wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn. And then we repeat. And then if I want to, I can come over here to this barn and it's gonna tell me that there's what, 40 some thousand liters of straw. Yep. 51,462 and no hay. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna park under here, that way we don't have to move later. We're gonna exit, we're gonna save and exit. So we've done that, saving content. Please don't turn the PlayStation off. No problem. We're gonna turn auto save off, by the way. Cool, so the game is saved. I'm gonna save a second time, because that's just what I do. We're gonna exit and then we're gonna load up into multiplayer. So now we go into multiplayer, create game. We're gonna to go to our game save that we have just done. 
right here and mods do not matter did you go ham 88's game it always says that if you guys see me on please please don't join uh, go for it whatever i don't care okay please wait for the game to be created so we're gonna jump in here and i want to show you we're gonna do this real time i got my hands in the air like i don't even care watch this be the one time that we can't get connected so what's gonna happen is this is tricking the game into thinking oh that's a silo extension that's what we're doing here so again the hayloft it's right there and you could just use the hayloft but this is this is good and this could transfer over if we get other things in the future like somewhere to put potatoes and sugar beets and sugar cane um somewhere to put silage and chaff stuff like that like a forage uh forge silo if we could get all that close we're ready to go if we could get all that close then that would be even better so we want to come in and we want to join my farm perfect now hit it straw and hay you see it right here straw and hay are available for here and just to show you i'm gonna start it straw right there there it is now we have found best luck to take some of this straw out and put it back in and this is really going to blow your mind right here we're going to put it in right here <laughs> uh now we'll tell you this on pc i did have quite a few freezes doing this however i have had no freezes on console as of yet that's nuts that's absolutely nuts and we can continue to do that over and over and over again it just recognizes it straw and hay now oh and there's others too straw hay wheat barley oat canola sunflower soybeans corn straw hay we keep going in order now there's a couple things you need to know you cannot dump other crops into the hayloft we tried it it doesn't work i'll show it to you it just doesn't work now the hayloft we still have straw and hay here so we're gonna take some straw out here stop it and then bring this around and we're still going to dump it back in there and you can go to the back over there so if you're one of those people that just likes to have everything in one place this is the way to do it now if you sell that hay barn it's gone all your hay all your straw it's all gone so don't think that it can do now if i delete it now this is still going to recognize hay and straw but once you're gone once you get out of it it's done so let's try this a little soybean come over here can we put the soybeans in here the answer is no but i'll tell you anyway yeah not letting me put the soybeans in there so dj how do we save this i'm going to show you like i said before this will work from single player to multiplayer or multiplayer to single player like i said if you have an existing game save i would suggest going into multiplayer and doing this that way you don't have to go changing sessions more than once or twice again let's go here straw hey boom hop out well, turn tractor off hop out and save your game save your game while you're in the farm do not leave the farm if you leave the farm it doesn't work for some reason uh, I did get it to work once when leaving the farm, but I I can't guarantee it's going to work every time. So we're in the farm. Now we're just going to quit game. So we've already saved. We're going to quit game. We're going to go back to career. Going to load up the exact same game save that we were just in. And now, regardless of what we do, how we do it, if we go in, leave our farm, come back, we're good. But this is the thing right here it's easy to go from one game save to the other but it's going back to that original game save that original time that you tricked the game that is when sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't like i said all but one time it worked like this and it worked the other way <laughs> so if it doesn't work for some reason go back and do the opposite of what you did does that make sense i hope it does i will put these steps down in the description so it'll be a little bit easier to follow and understand again 
the whole reason of doing this in real time is so you see I'm not doing anything crazy I'm not doing anything wild I don't know how to edit that good okay we're good to go hit start bam now we go back over here turn it on and now we have straw and hay still available so that is how you get straw and hay in your main silo i hope this was awesome for you i hope this kind of got your head turning head spinning um again it's kind of silly because well there's there's this right here you could just come over here you could but you don't have to and i think there's other ways that we can incorporate this and other ways that we can kind of trick the game into thinking it's something else or thinking you know like oh well we've got that well now there's extra capacity and this and that so this does not increase your capacity in no way shape or form does it give you extra anything it literally just allows you to put hay and straw through here that's it so if that's something that you're interested in that's something you want this should help you perfect so guys that is it for today hope you enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already, please subscribe if you have any questions comment section down below hope you guys have a great day hope it's useful oh, do something with it somebody use use these pieces and really do something cool with this it's it's got to be here again console and pc hope you guys have a great day we'll see you later peace